If you've been having problems with Sierra Chart and Rhythmic Data like I have over the past couple of weeks, I finally took some time and figured out a solution for the issue. That's what I'm going to share into this video, so let's get right into it. All right, so for the last couple of weeks, I've been having um, historical download issues with Rhythmic. Um, and it's only been specifically to Rhythmic when I tried Denali that I didn't have any issues with historical with downloading the historical data. And when I tried with CQG, I've never had any issues with CQG. It's only been with Rhythmic. Um, so I finally you know, got the time uh, to sit down and actually try to figure out a solution to this issue. I went through my troubleshooting steps and I found a solution that worked for me. And so let's go ahead and let me go ahead and just get to it with uh, kill all the backstory. So I feel every time I'm doing something, I forget to record it. So I have that historical documentation of what happened and all the steps that I, you know, the before and after. I don't have the before and after, but I did take this one screenshot that I was going to send to Sierra Chart Support. Um, and basically with Sierra Chart Support, if you have this, you probably know it already if you've been having this uh, issue. What they'll tell you is to use Denali. That's all. They will just flat out tell you to use Denali. Every single time I've looked through their support forums, I open my own support ticket and it's to use Denali. So that's their solution. So I'm not going to get into all that right now. Um, but so this is one of the error messages that I was getting where it says um, download fail blah 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 historical data request rejected because there is currently another historical data request active okay and no matter what you do this will always what well, for me anyway this message always came up i was testing a couple things but when i once i you know got my troubleshooting bearings together that's the first thing i wanted to you know kind of play around with and so what i did was i went into my data folder right and i took all of these all of these dot doy the daily data i took all of those all of these dot scid and then i deleted them putting them in the recycle bin and i kept them in the recycle bin just in case i needed them so long story short i deleted all of these and let uh sierra chart go back through the process to see if it was going to actually download anything and once i restarted sierra chart and and reconnected to rhythmic stuff was populating in here so even though i got this message this message right here is not really accurate from what I found out you know, when I was uh, troubleshooting on my own. All right. So that's what really got me to dig in. Like, OK, there is some kind of misconnect between what Sierra Chart is actually telling me in these error messages and how, you know, how they're reading the files inside of that data folder. All right. So from this point, now that we understand, you know, how I started my troubleshooting thing from this point, what I want to do is just go over some of the key things that you want to know. Um, are the key things that I use to help get the situation to work okay the first thing I want to point out here is with the continuous contract and this right here is a really important so I can just right click because I have this in my shortcuts and I go to chart settings I, don't, I think that's also by default with Sierra chart but another way to get the chart settings is to click on the chart you want and just go to chart settings and you can get there that way also all right so since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and click on chart settings. And then under advanced settings, discontinuous contract, you want to make sure that's set to none. Now, there is a hack that I'm going to go over later related to this. So just remind me when we get there. I just don't want to break the flow of what's going on and, you know, the process that I have in my head right now. All right. So the reason why you want to make sure this is set to none, because for whatever reason with rhythmic, it'll just keep like triangle whatever but it'll eat up your data it eat up your 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 threshold for the amount of data that you're able to that like they allow you to download uh throughout the week all right and then that has shut your historical data download off for the rest of the week if you just let that run too long so make sure this is turned off or set to none and then you can go ahead and you know you can play around with these settings i wouldn't do it any more than especially if i'm having an issue and i've been trying for a while I would set this low to like 30 or 60 and then I'll go from there. All right. Another thing that you want to pay attention to the, if you're having this issue is what version that you're using. The oldest version that I've tried it on that I've been able to make it work 
is version 2292 using you know these methods um it you know I, I, that's the version that i was originally having issues with and once i actually found out about the continuous contract but and also like deleting all of those old um data files or all of those old doi and scid the intraday and the daily files out of the data folder and just starting the whole process over again I was having the problem with uh, version 2292, and I was also using it on an older version, which encouraged me to, to upgrade to the latest version to try that and see if that worked. Um, I was using the version 2276. So I had to upgrade from 2276 on one of my installs. I have three different installs of Sierra Chart. So uh, version 2276, I couldn't use that one anymore. So I upgraded that one to the latest version, which is the one that I downloaded, I guess it was like two days ago, 2348. And that's when everything started to work. It works flawlessly, almost, with the with the latest versions. Uh, with the 2292, I still had some a couple of issues, but with 2348, as soon as I like started the whole process over again with an empty uh, data folder in terms of the daily and the intraday data, it worked with no issues, all right? So my suggestion would be to just download the latest version or go to the latest version of Sierra Chart, connect to Rhythmic via their direct DTC. And if you need information on how to do that, just check out the other video that I made about Rhythmic and Sierra Chart. Um, it's, uh, it'll be linked in this video. And you know, you shouldn't have any, that's the only way that you can connect to Rhythmic anyway, but you shouldn't have any problems from there, right? So those were the main things that I did to solve this problem. Now, what Sierra Chart wants you to do is they want you to use the Denali data and somehow use order routing, even though their instructions on that are not really that clear. Um, that's something that when I have time, I have to try to check it out and see if it even works, especially for these funded programs. But um, even the link that they sent me was not, it led, led to a dead end. I won't get into the details about that, but you know that's what they want you to do. I found this to be a better solution. It's less of a headache. You just got to go, through, you know, make sure you go through a couple things. So to reiterate and make sure all of this stuff is clear, I'm going to go ahead and type all of this out are the steps that I took to make this work. All right. So the first thing you want to do is set your continuous contract to none, right? Then you want to update to the latest version, no older than version 2292. But if you're going to do that, you might as well just update to the latest version because you got to use uh, the, the way that I would do it is to use the DTC to connect, right? And then with that being said, at least to our third point, which is move that over, it's going to connect to uh, Rhythmic via the direct DTC. It's, it says Rhythmic DTC. And again, you can check out the video linked in this description for details and information on how to do that. All right. So before you actually connect to Rhythmic, I did leave one step out, but you want to you will probably you can probably try this without it, but I would do it this way. You want to delete all the .dly and .scid files in the data folder. That's the way I would do it. Um, but you know you could try it without doing it that way. Another little thing that you can do if it's just like one contract, let's say you just only want to try to do it with the um, NQH or the MNQH contract. Another little easier thing that you can do, or another thing that you can do. Let me move this over to where we can see it. I think I did it here. Maybe maybe it was another install, but I can show you. So let's say you want to do the MNQH2. Where is it at? Okay, this one right here. If you wanted to just try to download it all over again, you can just set that you can, you know as a dot backup, right? Go ahead and click yes. And so Sierra chart. Oh, okay. So I, I see what happened. It put it somewhere else. Okay, there we go. This is the ones I did before. All right. So Sierra chart won't will not be able to read these files. So what it'll do is it'll actually start trying to download everything all over again. All right. So if it's only one contract that you want to, you know, that you need to try to, if you want to try it that way first, only with one contract and see if it starts downloading everything, you can do it that way instead of deleting everything into your re recycle bin and then maybe you forget or you accidentally permanently delete it, which is not going to be a big issue because you're going to be able to re-download all the data anyway. 
So you, you got two ways that you can do it. I'm just giving you the, you know, the different ways that you can do it. One, you can just use that backup on you know singular uh, data files, or you can delete everything, keep it in the cycle band just in case, and then let it download all over again. Let Sierra Tart download all the data again from uh, from Rhythmic, and then um, if that works, then you can go ahead and empty your recycle band and you won't have any issues. All right, so let me go ahead and move this back. If you want to go back, all you got to do is remove the dot backup, and it'll uh, you know click yes again. And it'll put it back as the right that SCID file. Right. All right. So once you've done all those steps, once you've updated to the latest version, you turned off your contract, uh, continuous contract, you've um, you've deleted all your dot doi and dot SCID files. You know, then um, before you, then that's when you want to. I would restart Sierra Chart if you already have it open, right? I would shut it all the way down, and then you know, turn it back. You know, um, open it back up, open Sierra Chart back up, and then try to connect to Rhythmic, and then you should start seeing it um, do its thing. Let me see if I can. Now, with one of these, I can't do it uh, with one of my Rhythmic accounts because I, you know, trying to troubleshoot all of this, I actually ended up hitting my weekly threshold again but it was Friday night so I didn't care uh, but let me see let me see if I can get it to we can start this process over hope you took a screenshot of that right there because I'm gonna delete it if you didn't all you gotta do is go back and pause the video and take a screenshot or take notes however you want to do it all right so let me go ahead and open up that Sierra chart I'm open up Sierra chart one more time let me open up a chart book All right, and that's what it should look like. That's how it should look. That's how you know everything is working correctly. And we are good to go. All right, and we can see we got all the data there. Even in the screenshot, you can see like this is this is when it got like last week is when it got really crazy for me and I had to actually figure out a solution. Before it wasn't that bad. I could kind of live with it, but last week is just is it really started acting up and that's when I really just had to find a solution for it and can, you can kind of see right here this isn't supposed to look like this in the screenshot that I took right so th those are all of the steps and before I wrap up this video so you almost let me forget you almost let me let me forget if you still are having like it kind of hangs up or is is you know it may still not be working as smoothly as we saw there one hack that you can kind of do to get the ball rolling to get things rolling is you can without deleting your like if you did the delete all the data and let it download all the stuff again you don't want to keep doing that because it's going to eat up your your data um your data threshold from the rhythmic one thing that you can do is you can go back to chart settings and you can set this to either one of these you know let's just say volume based rollover and then you know if you click ok then i'm not going to do it here because i don't want to play with my my data like that again um the, yeah but you know, you can click this and it should start downloading the continuous contract data, right? When it's doing that in the middle, well, we can I can get it started. Let's see if it does it. All right, you'll see this message coming right here. Then you want to go up here to chart, chart settings, go back to advanced settings, and then turn that back off. You want to do that quickly. You just want to get that ball. You want to get the the communication going between rhythmic and Sierra chart and that should also that's kind of a hack of how you can use the contract uh, continuous contract setting to you know get your data to start pulling in like you need it to all right so those are basically all the keys um i think i can uh, mention everything if you still have any questions go ahead and leave those in the comment section below and also i meant to say this at the beginning of the video but the reason why I even decided to really push forward with this and not go with uh, Sierra Charts recommendation because other people also, you know, reached out to me that they were having the same issue. So that gave me a little bit of motivation to, you know, really push through it and find a solution to use my troubleshooting skills and find a solution and also to make this video. So if you have any issues with Sierra Chart that you're dealing, you know, that you're that you're stuck on, just go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. Hit me up in the Discord. The Discord link is in the description below. So, you know, if you have any questions, any issues, anything like that with Sierra Chart, feel free to reach out to me and I'll see, you know, I do my best on my end. Now, keep in mind, I don't work for Sierra Chart, you know, and I don't really have a whole lot of success 
I haven't really had a whole lot of success trying to use their support, uh, their customer support. So I'm doing this all on my own from a external perspective, if you know, if you understand what I'm saying. So, you know, I'll do my best to try to solve the, you know, whatever issues that you may be stuck on, depending on, you know, how, how much access and how much I understand the, the problem and all that good stuff. But leave all that stuff in the comment section below. Hit me up in Discord and I'll talk to y'all on the next one. Trade it easy.